Oh, sweetheart, you just walked into a historical hurricane wearing flip-flops made a fantasy. You want science? Let's talk science. You want facts? I brought the receipts for you. You try to dismiss the Bible and belittle the truth with arrogance, indoctrination, and Eurocentric bias. But now you're about to get that delusion dismantled line by line with science, scripture, and scholarly citations. So let's begin. I know this fact might hurt your feelings, but we all come from black people. You mentioned mitochondrial Eve, but clearly don't understand her significance. See, mitochondrial Eve is not just shared ancestry. No, no, dear. She's the scientifically proven most recent common ancestor of all human via maternal mitochondrial DNA. I want you to check these sources right here. While you check in those sources, it actually has a finding that all modern humans share maternal ancestry from a black woman who lived in Sub-Sahara, Africa, 150,000 to 200,000 years ago. So yes, evolution happened, but from black people. From melanin-rich, dominant gene, black people. Now I know that you will be offended to know that your white skin is a recessive gene, it's a mutation. You claim white skin didn't come from ice age isolation, but let me help you. See, the fact is, white skin is a relatively recent mutation that occurred 6,000 to 8,000 years ago. Let me drop those sources for you below. Nina Jabalowski and George Chaplin wrote a journal of the evolution of human skin coloration, Journal of Human Evolution 2000. Now in that journal, they discuss how lighter skin evolved in northern latitudes where there was less UV radiation. So let's get this straight. It's not the default, it's a mutation from the originated melanated human. Even the SLC24A5 gene tied directly to white skin is a mutation. I want you to look at this source below. It's called a putative cation exchanger affects pigmentation in zebrafish and humans. And that's in article Science 2005. Now, let me say this very slowly because I know it's hard for people to understand. And not because y'all don't want to. Y'all keep drinking that tall glass of willful ignorance. 